Just please, not the hair. Don't shoot the hair. A bunch of my friends play this game called paintball. A great activity to where you shoot people with tiny paint-filled balls. Once hit, leaves a nasty little mark. It's fun. Back then, I never got a chance to play it. My friend of this story, we will call him A.A. Ron. When A.A. Ron heard this, he invited me out to join him and the others and some other guys to go paintballing over the weekend. I agree. Fast forward to the day of the game, we arrived at the location we were playing at. It was this forest area. A.A. Ron explained the rules and showed me how to use the guns. A moderator came out and told us and told us what to do, where to go, and how each of the games were going to be played. I was hyped. A.A. Ron told me before the game started that he got my back. He was more, since he was more experienced than me, than a noob like me, I felt relieved. I had a good feeling about going through this game. First round began. A.A. Ron looked around and booked it. And I followed suit. My man's was out for blood. He slid and hid undercover, put out his gun, and started shooting out. I tried to copy his movements because I didn't know what I was doing, and I just thought, you know, I'll just be like a backup support. We had done this strategy several times until the first game session was done. Teams started changing and new players started coming in. Now, when I looked over to see the other team, I was completely terrified. It was a full squad black dude. They were as tall as NBA players. And not only that, these guys were trained in real combat from what I heard. These homies knew how to actually shoot. They looked like some hitman squad looking all cold cleaning their guns with mean mugs. This is a paintball game, calm down. I don't need to get all serious about this. I wasn't ready for the smoke I was about to receive. It was me, A.A. Ron and some random against the black superman unit. The name of the game that we were going to play this time was Capture the Flag. A.A. Ron had the flag, and again, he was reassuring me, we got this, and he wouldn't leave my side. You know, I had courage to face this challenge head on, knowing that I had my bud right beside me to go into the field against these monsters. Each team went to their respective spots. But before the game began, the moderator had told us that Team Wakanda over there was one man short. Next thing I know, A.A. Ron rips the flag off himself, slaps me the flag, and said good luck, and ran over to the other side. That snake. He didn't want his cheeks clapped by the dark giants too. He knew how hopeless it was. And then he gave me the flag of all people. With that betrayal and a little tear to my eye, I tried to raise the team's morale and prepare myself for what was about to go down. Again, I was not ready. The moderator started the match. We were, again, we were in a forest area. There was a good amount of trees to take cover behind. So that's what I did. When I peeked out to see the enemy team, there was no one, not even a sound. This was the calm before the storm. My one teammate got out of the cover try to move to another one suddenly all the dudes came out and lit that poor kid up that kid was a different type of dead he didn't get up for a bit from that point on they were breaking my team down one by one until there was just me and this other guy left hiding on the ground behind a big ass log we exchanged these looks of we screwed he signaled to me who was going to take cover somewhere else and sneak up on him i was shaking my head telling him don't do it. Don't do it. He did not listen to my warning. Once he rose, he started running and running. Those black terminators saw him, locked on, and turned my man into an art piece. I mean, what he expect? Thus, I was the only survivor. And the other team knew I was the only survivor. And was hiding behind that log. They made it rain with them paint bullets trying to flush me out. I knew I didn't have the skill to take any of them out. 
I only had one option. To surrender. I dropped my gun, put my hands up. To make matters worse, I guess one of them didn't see my hands fast enough, so he shot me a couple times. In the hair. My one wish destroyed. What can I say about my first time paintballing? If I had to put it into words, I would say it was some ball.